next day. But we're gonna be trying to put the grill in, and I say trying because anytime I do anything like this in my truck, there's often a problem. There's some sort of issue that comes up. But uh, I got everything I need, so it should be pretty easy. So we're on our way to the shop now, and we're gonna throw this thing in. So the grill is installed. I'm kind of away from traffic and people to talk to you guys about it. And that's because, well, there's kind of a lot to talk about. First of all, the installation is very easy, very straightforward. Again, it's four bolts on top, two clips on the bottom. Doesn't get much easier than that. What took us so long, and us being my dad and I, was the wiring. So the old Alpina position pods that I had in the grill before, the wires are so thin it took us actually three hours just to sort out the wiring it, it was kind of a mess unfortunately but the grill itself easy bolt in it's obviously oem style but the grill itself is custom homemade ford raptor style with quality raptor style lights um and i quite honestly really like how this looks it, it's very unique and steph as i know personally now she's very into custom fab work on her truck and well this kind of shows her, you know, you know, her skills very well. So um, she only has three of them so far, this being one of them. Um, there's one on her truck, but it's slightly different. So really there's only three of these that are just like this um, out there. So that's what I really like about this grill is that, is that people, you know, you can buy the same rims, buy the same headlights and whatever, but you can't really buy the same grill. There is an aftermarket one that's a very similar looking and uh, you know it's more mass produced you can pick that up for around the same price but it is a different style so really these are ultra limited rare and especially in my area no one has a grill like this so i really like the rarity and the uniqueness to it because it's a personal touch that you really can't find anywhere else it's something that makes my truck my truck my ranger right so we're gonna get up close you can see like there is minor imperfections i said it's homemade and it's pl it's tr cutting plastic right your ear custom fabbing up a grill it's not gonna look exactly you know OEM quality but you stand back here you can't see really any of that and it's really good quality it looks really well and obviously it fits in there please leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think I actually it, at first I was a little iffy like I don't know it's just a change I'm like oh yeah like rafter you know lights in the grill nothing new but looking at it over time the more and more I look at it, and this lighting especially, it, it, I really like it. And the um, the amber lights themselves, like light-wise, they have like more depth to them than what I had before. So it gives this like this 3D effect on the emblem itself. It's it's there's much more depth and layers to this grill than what I had before, which was obviously just stock with some lights in it. <laughs> I'm actually the more and more I look at it, guys, the more and more I like it. I really, really am happy with this decision to go this way. Um, it was a little expensive. It was about 500 bucks, if I'm honest. Um, but, but I mean, it's pretty awesome, man. This is it, guys. So like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, your personal opinion. I think this grill <laughs> looks awesome. So that kind of does it for this video. I would love to get rolling shots with this grill, but maybe in the near future, my uh, maybe Jordan Ricardo will help me out with that. Um, and really show off how this thing looks rolling. But look at this thing just sat here, man. It just has more of an aggressive stance, obviously Raptor style. And yep, I'm a wannabe uh, 
Raptor owner, but it is what it is. And I think that style grill looks fantastic on this year Ranger. And there you have it. So if you did enjoy this video and you enjoy the grill, you enjoy the truck, be sure to subscribe and like if you haven't already. Please, there is so much more content to come. The weather is starting to warm up a little bit. Um, we're coming into spring, so there's gonna be a ton of content. You know, bike related, Jordan has building a Turbo Silverado, you got the Ranger, anything you want, gym content, it's all here on this channel. So subscribe and get ready for an action-packed spring and summer. I'm so happy with this, guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all later.